Hello, today's lesson is inspired by Claude Monet. He was a French painter and a member of the School of Impressionism. And uh, that school was very interested in looking at light and color um, and not painting in an abstract way, but in a way so that you just get the impression of something like the impression of a water lily. It does not have to be realistic. So he had lovely gardens uh, in France and they're already, they're still open to the public. And so that's where he did a lot of his paintings. Uh, and that is where he would have his ponds and streams and that kind of thing with uh, the water lilies uh, floating on them. So your supply list for today, I'll put this off to the side. The supply list for today is a piece of watercolored paper landscape. We need a bowl of clean water. We need our watercolor set. Large paintbrush. White acrylic paint. And um, a little bowl to put some of that paint in. That will be our last step and then paper toweling. Okay, so we're going to pick up, oh, and did I say our oil pastels? We need our oil pastels. So I'm going to pick up my pink oil pastel to get us started. And we need to remember what we've learned about things that are closer to us look bigger, and things that are further away from us look smaller and are go up the, the paper. So, these are going to, we're not going to draw with pencil. We're, first, we're just going to draw with our, with our oil pastel. And so you're just going to make a U shape. And what I like to do is kind of figure out where I want my water lilies uh, to be. And I'm gonna put one that's a little smaller because so it looks like it's kind of tucked behind that. And then one right here and then we've got a lot of negative space here so I'm going to put it down here I don't want it to be on the same line like that okay and then and you need to press on your oil pastels so that you are leaving a lot of color and wax behind so it looks a little bit like a tulip on all of these and different sizes because that's how flowers are in nature right now we're doing the wax resist method but I'm also going to show you a different way of doing your watercolor that's called wet on wet all right so there are our flowers. Now we're going to pick up our green oil pastel and we're going to make our lily pads. So they're going to be kind of random in shape, right? And we want them to be longer rather than wider but we want it to make sure that it's going up here on our flower so it looks like the flower is sitting on it. Okay, and then we got one more here. All right. I'm going to go over that one a little bit. I was not quite dark enough. Okay, so the next color of oil pastels we want to use would be yellow. And we're going to put our yellow in between the 
petals that are closest to us and the ones that are behind. Now remember with the wax resist, when you paint over the oil pastel, the paint will not stick, so to speak. And so the color will show through. That's pretty cool. You can actually see the, wa the watercolor paint sort of rolling off of it. Okay, so we've got our yellow. And now it might seem a little odd, but we're going to use our white oil pastel. And I've been using this quite a bit, so I'm going to get some of the color that has gotten on it because I don't want it to smear and then take some of that paper off. You can get it. It's being a little stubborn there. Okay. And then we're going to color in the flowers because we want them to stay white. And it's okay if some of your pink blends in with the with the white. It's kind of realistic in terms of the way that the flowers look. And you want to make sure you don't get your hand or arm down in the oil pastels that you've already used. And you can move your paper around if you'd like. So we're going to work up our this way Make sure that you get all of the crumbs off. Oops. I'll cover that green that I smudged a little bit there. Because that'll mess with you when you're putting your watercolor on. Okay. So we're done with our white. So now we're going to pick up our blue and we're going to make some lines in the water and these are just random because the little ripples and waves of the water we're just trying to get the impression of that sure that we have something up here at the top too because it's also in the water okay and then when you're happy with that we can get a different blue out a little lighter blue and add some more color to it because water isn't all just one color right so you can add some more ripples Okay, now we're ready to paint. So that was easy, right? All right, so with the wet on wet, what you're going to do first is just take your water paintbrush, put your, put it in the water, and then you're going to put just paint. You're going to paint with water, basically, and get an area. 
And what the wet on wet lets you do is to just kind of let your paints kind of move around. So I'll show you. And we're just going to do part of it. And it's okay if you get some on the lily pads because we'll, we're going to go back and do those in green. But they probably have water on them anyway, right? So do you see how your oil pastel is shining right through there? Okay, so I'm going to add some more just water. And then go back over it with our blue. Again, don't be too fussy with this because Monet would not have been. Some more water on our background and then add some more blue as I paint over the oil pastel it has a tendency to to shed but see how you're getting some interesting blending of colors right there Let the colors sort of pool, do their own thing. So we're going to take this one color and paint all around here, putting some water up here. This area and then I'm going to switch to a different color so we can blend that And you can also kind of put a lot of water down and then let and then move your paper around. Okay, so I'm going to clean my brush out again, and then I'm going to hit
hit it with kind of this purplish blue. Just in certain areas. I'm going to add a little more water. And then I'm going to add a little more pigment. Kind of move it around a little bit. Get rid of that air bubble right there. Okay, so you just keep painting it until you're happy with it. Now don't overwork it too much because your paper will start falling apart on you. All right, but you get kind of the idea here. Now let's, I dropped my paper toweling, so I need to pick that up. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to clean out our brush and then we're going to pick a light color of green. We're going to work on the lily pads now. And we're going to paint inside our green lines. We're going to go back over with another color of green, again, because we want this to be interesting in regards to color. And not flat looking, right? Lot of water so you can get some ponding but notice that it won't go it won't jump the line where your oil pastel is you've got it corralled I'm having you use a larger brush because that guarantees you can't get too fussy, right, on these smaller spaces. Okay. This looks nice. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to, when you're happy with your painting, then it's time to get out your white acrylic paint. And you're going to put just a little, we don't need a whole lot, into a small container. It can be a paper cup or plastic cup. This is a recycled fruit bowl. Okay, so you want to have clean, your clean brush and clean water. And you're just going to add some water to this so it's runnier. And we're going to 
add highlights. Here, let me get this out of the way to our water by loading our paint brush up with paint with the watered down white paint and then we're going to simply hit it on our paper this is called splattering you can put it on the leaves as well as the flowers and just move it you don't have you can sort of control where it's going but you can't you don't have a lot of control on this okay so you just do that until you're happy with how much you've got on there and then we're finished i hope you enjoyed painting as monet did thank you